The Mission Hills World Celebrity Pro-Am is where glitz, glamour and golf combine not only on the fairways, but the red carpet. In just a few short years, the World Celebrity Pro-Am has put Mission Hills Haiko on the map. Situated on the tropical island of Hainan off the southern coast of China's mainland, Mission Hills Haiko features a staggering 10 golf courses sprawled across beds of volcanic rock. The leisure resort includes movie theatres, wave pools and the world's largest mineral spa. It's a nod to the scale in which China has embraced the golf industry where 100,000 fans swamped Mission Hill's Blackstone course for the World Celebrity Pro-Am. Bringing the celebrities and the professionals together helps a lot to promote the game of golf. That's the aim of the World Celebrity Pro-Am at Mission Hills, is to popularize the game of golf. Because if you're a non-golfer, you would not tune into television to watch golf, or even go to golf club to follow professional golfers for eight kilometers to see golf. But if you have stars combined, it opens a lot of doors. This is a week of glamour and gala gatherings where celebrities get to show off their golfing superpowers. Nothing will help my golf game. All the, all the muscles in the world won't help my golf game. Uh, no, I, I, I've, I've been avoiding the gym lately. I've been to uh, many, many places in the world. I mean, some really um, awesome places in the world. But I think uh, what you have here at Mission Hills tops it all. I've never seen anything quite like it. I love coming to China. Shanghai is one of my favorite cities that I've uh, ever gone to. Um, and now here. This is incredible. I, I wish I would have brought my kids. Since 2010, the World Celebrity Pro-Am has seen a who's who of golf, showbiz and sport leave their marks at Mission Hills High Co. A-listers like Nicole Kidman, Morgan Freeman, Jessica Elba and Chris Evans are unlikely ambassadors for the game of golf in China. Golf has been based around the um, baby boomers. Now we have to suck in the millennials, right? And if we can do that in the right way, which is a Nicole Kidman or a Jessica Alba or a Morgan Freeman or a Chris Evans, you know? If we can do that, then we are broadening our base for the game of golf. And my gosh, if we can get it going here in China with 1.4 billion people, they'll have more people in China playing golf in a generation from now than the rest of the world. Hit a few good shots today. We're having a great time. John Daly, Jessica Alba. Not only does it see the biggest names in Hollywood taking part, but the biggest names in golf as well, including winners of a combined 17 majors. And for good friends Justin Rose and Ian Poulter, it's a great chance to mix business with pleasure here at the World Celebrity Pro-Am. We're competing against the girls, we're competing against the senior players, obviously Gary Player's playing, so he's now going to be off of, off of a different tee as well. So from that standpoint, we're all competing as one, which is great. So uh, we get that opportunity, which we don't normally get in any, any other form of tournament. And I think it's great that golf gets seen in this sort of light, that it's fun, it's sort of sexy, and it's kind of cool, and it's attracting people who wouldn't necessarily be your stereotypical golfers. You know, for someone like Nicole Kidman, who's, a, who's an icon around the world, to be playing golf gives golf a lot of credibility. In this environment, we can bring people from all over the world in different forms of sport or entertainment, intermix them all together to be able to go out there and have fun and try and grow the game of golf. My brother was saying you look like freaking George Clooney Paul, steady, 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 I like that. The men behind Mission Hills are brothers Ken and Tanil Chu, the most powerful family in Chinese golf, who continue their father's legacy. The reason we created this World Celebrity Pro-Am is so that more and more people can participate and understand the game of golf at the same time to showcase the new China to the people. With Morgan and Jessica Alba and Nicole Kidman and Kenny G and Chris Evans, they were all so, so impressed that what Mission Hills has created is truly golf and beyond. If you're not a golfer, you may not be noticing what Tiger or Rory is doing this week. But if you're a movie lover or music lover, you know, with Morgan's film to Chris Evans or Kenny G's music, you will follow wherever they go and whatever they do. And this is our vision and our mission to bring the world here to Hainan, to Haiko Mission Hills. 
The Chews are helping promote the sport of golf in China. Not that golf is struggling for fans in the Republic. Although you won't see Ricky Fowler Orange or Tiger Woods Caps line the fairways in this burgeoning golfing powerhouse. For many of them, this may be their first time onto a golf course. Please understand if you see any girls, any fans in, in, in skirts and heels. They come to think that they're in, indoor, coming to see stars, celebrities. But in this case, they didn't know they got to walk the golf course under the sunshine. I gotta say, it's it's refreshing to see all these young fans out here. And I know obviously they're out here to see the celebrities because they don't really probably don't know a whole lot about golf. But that's how people start. They kind of go, well, what is this sport? What is this game? And you have 10 wonderful facilities here that are open to the public. So that just goes to show how forward-thinking uh, Mission Hills and Tennille and Ken Chu are. They are really dedicated to growing the game in China. And they're doing a wonderful job of that. Who knows, there might be uh, somebody, one of the kids in the crowd, that uh, might get uh, the spark in the golf bug a little bit and might see them out on tour somewhere. The World Celebrity Pro-Am is where East meets West, Hollywood meets Heiko. This is different, all right, isn't it? Yeah, but it's great. I haven't been here before, obviously, and it's, uh, it's a big deal. The cultures combine on the red carpet for the Mission Hills World Celebrity Pro-Am opening gala, appropriately staged at the 1940s-style movie town. I want to thank Morgan, because the moment he arrived, I said, please, you are the voice of God. Please help us make the rain stop. <laughs> The opening round of the 36-hole tournament saw monsoon conditions greet the golfers, but it in no way dampened the enthusiasm of this new breed of golfing fans. They came in their tens of thousands to see John Daly mix it with Jessica Elba, Darren Clark teared up alongside Chris Evans, and Suzanne Pedersen rubbed shoulders with Yao Ming, or at least try to. But it was the Aussie duo of Greg Norman and golfing rookie Nicole Kidman who stole the show. England's Simon Dyson topped the leaderboard following round one on a day that unlikely friendships were formed on the fairways. They did pick up some very nice golfing tip from the master, but you know, putting them into action is a totally different thing. It was uh, very inspiring to watch a real pro out there. There's nothing better than uh, playing with John Daly. He has that, that uh, pink winning spirit. <laughs> this is the great thing about this game. We played in lousy weather today, but the day is what you make it. They put on a show here in China that is quite unbelievable. And uh, the people that come out on a day like this, anywhere else, you wouldn't find anybody. It's all the celebs and uh, everything about it. You know, they're here, they're enjoying themselves. They socialize with everybody in the evening. We have fun times. We stay up late at night, have a few cocktails. It's a cool feeling, to tell you the truth. And you don't really get to experience that that often. And it's off the course where many of the showbiz stars get to let their hair down and prove their claim to fame. Day two of the Mission Hills World Celebrity Pro-Am, and Kenny G has swapped his sax for a six iron. Even a two handicapper can pick up a few tips on the range when the instructor is a master's champ. Yeah, Ian Woosden uh, came by and for whatever reason decided that he could uh, give me some of his advice and it really, it really worked. He really gave me some good suggestions and I honestly hit the ball very, very well today. For many of the celebs, the Mission Hills World Celebrity Pro-Am is not just about spreading the gospel of golf wow. into China. There we go. Okay. Awesome. Oh, yeah. But picking up a few pointers along the way. Great shot, What Jess. a great that's, shot. That was your best today, too. Good shot. Heroic Ryder Cup captain Paul McGinley jumped to the top of the leaderboard with a birdie, much to the delight of his Pro-Am partner, Sun Nan. That left his European teammate Justin Rose with an eagle chance to leapfrog McGinley to the title. It was a fitting finish to a week where the pros shone as brightly as the stars of showbiz, and where two golfing cultures came together for another unforgettable world celebrity pro-am. 
On behalf of all the players, I'd like to thank you all for the hospitality you've shown us here at Mission Hills. Uh, every player's had a good time. I've seen people laughing, smiling, joking. There's been camaraderie on and off the golf course. And for me, that's what this week's been about. It's been making new friends, getting a chance to spend time with these wonderful people. Obviously, you have very generous sponsors, and it's really, really a fantastic tournament from beginning to end. So thank you very, very much.